Oh, hello. Uh, well, that really does suck for you, good sir. I'm very sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are playing Titanic VR. Now, I have played Titanic VR in the past, but those videos were terrible, so I'm revisiting the game, and I'm going to be completely redoing the entire series. So yeah, here we go. We're going to start with the experience, and let's do April 15th, 1912, and here we go. Alright, so, seated experience, get comfortable. Titanic on deck, it's 1.10 a.m., Titanic's hull is breached by a collision with an iceberg and is rapidly taking on water. Captain Smith has ordered women and children to the lifeboats. Alright, so here we are. We are on the deck, and that is quite loud, so one second. Alright, that's much better. So as you can see, there's Captain Smith right there. We've got a ton of people on the deck. And uh, if we look out, uh, I don't know why there's a, a moon there. Um, Titanic sank on a moonless night, so that's a little strange, but whoa. There goes the rocket there. And that's interesting. That flare is a newer type. I don't believe those actually existed uh, in 1912. And anyways, Titanic used uh, different types of flares than those. But uh, yeah. And there's one interesting thing that's going on here. If you look at the funnels, they're all dented in for some reason. Um, I don't know why that is, but we're just going to ignore all those issues there. We're just going to go ahead and focus on the scene that's happening in front of us. All right, so as you can see, we have a family here, and uh, obviously the father can't go, and all the drama is occurring here as they're being ripped away from their father. Well, they will be ripped away from their father in a moment. This officer is going to need them to get into the I'm sorry, sir. Women and children only. For God's sake, he's just a boy. Yeah, I would agree with the uh, family here. He's definitely a boy. I like all the character models. They're really high detail here. And uh, the life jacket model is nice and accurate as well, so that's cool. As well as these Davit models. Really nice. Look after him. It looks like uh, most of the boats here are still up on deck. They're not lowering yet, but uh, I think that'll happen very soon. All right, so there goes the child into the boat, and um, hopefully these two get off, but uh, I don't know if they will. We don't actually hear or see from them ever again uh, after this. I know that for sure, so... Uh, here we go. We're getting into the lifeboat. All right, so here we go. We're lowering down the side of the ship, and uh, there goes the child and the father. And if we look back here, we see another uh, what the daughter, of course. And, wow, look at that. They got player models down here too. That's really nice. I like that they have that. All right. Well, unfortunately, they won't be uh, coming with us. So. Yeah. Once again, all the character models here are really nicely done. Uh, they're very high quality, and the animation of the lifeboat is really nice. It's a little jerky, which it should be, and speaking about that, we just uh, dropped down to one side a little bit there. So it looks like we're going to need another person to hop aboard the lifeboat, so let's look up and see if anyone hops down. So now we are three to four stories down from that main deck, and here comes the guy. He's uh, just swinging down the rope there, and now he is on board, which is excellent, so he can help us row away from the ship. So here are the D-Deck doors, we're just passing down by D-Deck, and then below this is, uh, E-Deck. Alright, so we're almost down to the water, I think there's one more deck below us here, and then we will be on the water level. Oh, hello. Uh, well that really does suck for you, good sir, I'm... Very sorry. All right, and now we are down under the water here. You can see some nice water detail there. Uh oh. The boat will founder. I have it. You there? Stand on that plug. Make sure it doesn't come out. Well, I never. Man the oars. We need to leave this ship. For suction will pull us under. So it looks like we forgot the plug in the boat. So someone's gonna have to 
plug that up there. Hopefully that guy got out of that room. Um, that would be uh, pretty terrible if he didn't. But I'm pretty sure he'd find his way out. Oh, and look at that. There's some more interior portions right over there. Uh, I think there's like a little room modeled in there as well. So, very cool. It's really amazing to see the ship just tower over us like a building in the middle of the ocean. Just crazy. So here comes two more lifeboats being lowered down the side here. And it looks like the boat that's furthest aft there is down as well. Looks like they just dropped into the water. Something interesting that I've just noticed is that those aft portholes on F deck are all lit up in a bright white, unlike the orange glow of the rest of the portholes. Um, same thing for the forward ones there. Um, the ones on E deck, apparently. Well, it looks like we have a stowaway on board this lifeboat. So, uh, that's not gonna be fun for him. There's some chunks of ice in the water over there. It might be hard to see, but they're right there. And, uh, as you can see, the E deck portholes on the starboard side of the Titanic are going under. And there's a lot of people on the deck right now, as you can see there especially where the lifeboats were. At this point, the ship is beginning to sink a lot faster. The D-deck portholes are already under and the water is reaching those D-deck doors. And soon, actually right now, the water is now on the well deck. There's a, a little argument going on on the uh, lifeboat here. And now everyone's really starting to notice how bad the situation is getting. Um, the ship is going down very quickly. At this point, the passengers on the lifeboat have realized that the ship is gonna go down. Um, not to mention the crew member is telling them right now. The water has now reached the A-deck promenade and is quickly flooding up to boat deck. There are the uh, massive propellers rising out of the water, including the massive three to four story rudder uh, just beginning to pitch itself out of the water. Not a lot of people are left on the forward port side boat deck. A lot of them have moved aft at this stage and uh, it's pretty obvious now there is no hope for Titanic. She's going down, and she's going down quickly. You can see the bridge is now underwater. There's a few lifeboats around us with their lanterns glowing, some ice chunks in the water, and now the officer's quarters are going under. And the water is reaching the base of the number one funnel as the power goes out. And I believe it will collapse in any moment here. There goes the forward funnel collapsing into the water. Um, it actually killed quite a few people when it did so. Seems like the second funnel is beginning to give way. The whole ship has lost power slightly there. And at any moment, the whole ship will lose power. And there it goes. The ship has broken into two pieces. The forward section is going down. And the aft section has fallen back. The stern is quickly filling with water as passengers witness the tragedy unfolding in front of them. As the stern begins to pitch itself upright, passengers fall into the water and it is almost completely over here. Just the rest of the stern is left to sink under at this stage. And there goes the stern, the fantail slipping under the waves there and Titanic is gone. All that's left now are the screaming passengers in the water and the lifeboats in ice chunks. People are dying. Can you not hear them? It's our lives now, not theirs. There's nothing there but a lot of snakes. People are still alive. That's final. So there's quite a lot of arguments going on in the lifeboat about going back, but 
the lifeboat will not return, and it will leave the passengers to die in the water. And that was Titanic VR's sinking animation experience. Quite dramatic and quite surreal at the same time. Definitely pick up this game if you want to just experience the sinking. Titanic had 2,208 people on board. And 1,496 people perished. Lifeboat 6 was designed to hold 65 people. There were only 29 aboard when she left Titanic. And this is an image of Lifeboat 6 approaching the Carpathia on the 15th of April, 1912. Alright guys, if you just remember, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I will see you all next time guys, goodbye! <laughs>